I did a report on a video about the Methuselah tree quite some time ago and the date palm seeds that they found at Masada that they sprouted and they had, uh, I believe it was a male tree and they wanted to try to sprout some more of the date palm seeds to get the female version so that they could pollinate and actually grow the fruit of the date palm for the first time in 2,000 years. So there's another article about this and I thought it would be really exciting to talk about it. So let me just read this to you because I find it so thrilling. It's like the resurrection after 2,000 years and we're anticipating Jesus return and these things are happening that are so thrilling. And by the way, we're in the middle of this winter storm advisory and wind chill warning. Right now it's one degree and minus 13 wind chill. They're expecting it to get to minus 20 wind chill tonight, which is just unheard of for our area. We did have that cold spell, as you remember, where the pipes burst at minus 15 degrees. That's when my room got flooded and all of that, and I moved rooms. And uh, so praying that that doesn't happen to the pipes again. <laughs> but uh, I went out there when it was 8 degrees earlier today. I was thinking that I would just be able to scrape the snow and ice off my windshields. And um, by the time I got the whole thing scraped and everything, there was no way I could leave. My hands felt like they were getting frostbite. Um, they were kind of turning red and purplish. So I came in immediately and decided that was a bad idea to leave. <laughs> so I decided to <laughs> research a few of these things. So hopefully this will bring you some wonderful news from Israel. And one of the reasons why I wanted to tell the story because there's kind of an update of some of the trees that they got to sprout from the date palm seeds. And this is really exciting because it says scientists grow trees from 2,000 year old seeds found in Dead Sea Scroll Caves by Natalie Ishka and edited by Jacqueline Anglis. And this was published February 6th of 2020, but it says the newly grown plants named Adam, Hannah, Uriel, Boaz, Jonah, and Judith sprouted from ancient seeds sourced from historical sites in Israel. Judean dates were ubiquitously grown in the region until the 19th century and famed for their long shelf life. Who would have known that seeds from 2,000 years ago would still be able to grow into trees today? This was proven by a team of scientists who were able to grow multiple date palms in Israel by using ancient seeds harvested from historical sites in the Judean desert. According to The Atlantic, the team's research began in 2005 when they tried to germinate seeds from Masada, an ancient fortress in Israel. Radiocarbon dating of the seeds established that they were about 2,000 years old. Led by Sarah Salon, a doctor at Hadassah Medical Center, the team's experiment was a success and they managed to grow their first plant out of these ancient seeds, a date palm tree they named Methuselah. The name refers to a figure in the Bible who lived until the age of 969 years. Salon admitted that she didn't expect the experiment would work, but it did. Fast forward to 2020 and Methuselah now has six contemporaries named Adam, Hannah, Uriel, Boaz, Jonah, and Judith, similar to their botanic predecessor, all six date palm plants came from ancient seeds and were grown in recent years. And here they are in the picture, newly sprouted date trees, all grown from 2,000 year old seeds. And credited to 
Salon 2020. The success of the more recent plant growing experiment was important to do so that the team could document the progress of the plant's growth properly, which they failed to do the first time since they had low hopes of the ancient seeds being viable at all. The second experiment was also important to prove that their first effort wasn't just a fluke, which it clearly wasn't. Their remarkable new study was published this week in the journal Science Advances. For the team's recent study, they collected seed specimens from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, many of which were sourced from the region's archaeological sites. Some of the seeds were more preserved than others and therefore better suited for the experiment. In total, the scientists planted 32 of the best preserved seeds in a small kibbutz in southern Israel. Elaine Soloway, a collaborator who grew the seeds in the kibbutz, soaked the old seeds in water and applied commercial plant hormones and fertilizer. Interestingly enough, the protocol for planting them wasn't that much different from planting modern seeds. Out of the 32 seeds that were planted, six of them blossomed into date palm trees. Five of the successful seeds came from either Masada or the Qumran Caves, where the famous Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered. The sixth seed came from the caves of Wadi Makuk. Methuselah was the first date palm tree germinated from ancient seeds in 2005. It's quite remarkable this team of researchers managed to germinate seeds of that age, said Oscar Alejandro Perez Escobar, who studies ancient dates at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew. These ancient seeds might represent lost genetic diversity that we don't see anymore. There are a myriad of benefits from the results of this study. For one, it will enable modern scientists to better understand how Judean farmers cultivated the lands to grow these date palms, which were once plentiful in the area up until the 19th century. The longevity of Judean dates was so well known that the ancient Greek historian Herodotus raved about the fruit in his writing and gifted them to the Roman Emperor every year. There's also untapped potential from exploring the genetic makeup of these plants that were born from ancient seedlings. Next, Celon and her team plan to mate Methuselah's pollen to Hannah, which is expected to grow flowers within the next two years. Sadly, their baby dates won't likely resemble those that were farmed 2,000 years ago. It won't be the typical Judean date because dates that were grown in that time, just like dates that are grown today, are not grown from the seeds that somebody puts in the earth, Salon explained. They are grown from clones from the very high producing females. Well, at least their study might still be fruitful. So it's really, truly exciting that they not only managed to have, you know, the Methuselah male tree, but now they've got Hannah that they can get the fruit and the flowers and pollinate that. And, you know, it's just so incredible to me. You know, these seeds lay dormant for 2,000 years when all of history was going by after Jesus death, burial, and resurrection. And now we're getting close to the sign of his coming, and this resurrection of this ancient fruit in Israel is being developed right now as we speak. What a blessing for us in our day, and what a thrill it is to see this. One more thing I should say is seven date palms have been grown from the 2,000 year old seeds that were found in the Judean desert near Jerusalem. The seeds, the oldest ever germinated, were among hundreds discovered in caves and in an ancient palace built by King Herod the Great in the first century BC. 
So they sprouted seven. How cool is that? God's number of completion. Now, if you thought that was the end of the story, wait till you hear this. So the New York Times had reported this. So Dr. Salon went searching again and chose more than 30 seeds from another stash from archaeological sites in the Judean Desert, including Qumran, where the Dead Sea Scrolls were found. Planted at Keturah between 2011 and 2014, six of the seeds sprouted. They were given the names of the biblical figures when they germinated, but as their genders became clear over time, Judah became Judith. Eve became Adam, and Jeremiah became Hannah. <laughs> Hannah's seed, which came from an ancient burial cave in Wadi el makuk near Jericho, now in the West Bank, was carbon dated to between the 1st and 4th centuries BCE, becoming one of the oldest known seeds to have ever been germinated. The research was peer-reviewed and detailed in a paper published in February in Science Advances, a leading scientific journal. A month later, there was another surprise. After growing for six years, Hannah flowered in a nearby plot. Now it was time to play matchmaker. Dr. Soloway painstakingly collected pollen from Methuselah and brushed it onto Hannah's flowers. Because I wanted Methuselah to be the father, she said. The night before the picking of Hannah's dates, there was some discussion of what the proper Hebrew blessing would be at the ceremony. The usual one for the fruit of the tree, or the Shekich Hayanu, a blessing of thanks for new and unusual experiences. The next morning, both were recited to a resounding Amen. Hannah's fruit most reminded connoisseurs of the Sahidi in Iraqi variety known for its mildly sweet and nutty flavor. Genetic experts from the University of Montpellier in France said that the genotyping for the germinated plants indicated that the older seeds, including Methuselah and Hannah, were closer to eastern varieties that flourished from Mesopotamia to Arabia and all the way to Pakistan. Date palm cultivation is thought to be up to 6,500 years old. The younger seeds, the more they resembled the varieties that flourished west of Egypt, like the moist a uh, trickly sweet Moroccan majul date that is popular today and is commercially cultivated in plantations along the Jordan Rift Valley, including Keturah. It all made perfect sense to Dr. Selon. Ancient Judea was ideally placed between North Africa and Asia along major trade routes, and the Romans who traveled all over the Mediterranean could have brought western varieties with them to pollinate the older varieties from the east. Putting it simply, what do we find? Dr. Salon said, the story of ancient Israel and the Jewish people of the diaspora's trade routes and commerce throughout the Middle East. After the dates were harvested, there was little chance to savor the moment in the ensuing flurry of activity. Minutes after the picking and tasting, um, the dates were whisked away to be measured and weighed. About a dozen of the hundred or so from the bunch were individually wrapped in aluminum foil, packed on ice, and sent to the Ministry of Agricultural Research Institute. Even the pips of those that had been eaten were collected for further study. Aside from Dr. Salon's interest in their medicinal properties, there was some banter among the Institute staff about mass producing the old new fruit with an eye to marketing the fruit as the dates that Jesus ate and using the funds for research. Wow! Awesome! Lucky it tasted so good, Soloway said. If it had been awful, that what would I have said? That in the old days they didn't know what a good date was? <laughs> There's a lot of literature about how they were the best dates in the world. Oh man, that is exciting. Wow. So they're thinking about marketing the fruit 
that has come of Methuselah and Hannah as the dates that Jesus ate. The Messiah. How cool. So take a look at the dates from the date palm tree Hannah. And this photo was by Debbie Eisner. Before that, it said Dr. Soloway planted the seeds in quarantine pots in January of 2005, not expecting much, but nevertheless employing a few horticultural tricks, she said, to try to coax them out of their long slumber involving warming, careful hydration, a plant hormone, and enzymatic fertilizer. Weeks later, she said, she was utterly astonished to see the earth had cracked and a tiny shoot had emerged. That's how I felt when my almond tree sprouted. Named Methuselah after the biblical patriarch known for his longevity, that shoot has since grown into a sturdy tree outside her office. But Methuselah turned out to be a male, and male palm trees are not good for much on their own. Gender can be confirmed once the trees flower or by genetic testing. So Dr. Salon went searching again and chose more than 30 seeds from another stash from archaeological sites in the Judean desert, including Qumran, where the Dead Sea Scrolls were found, planted at Keturah between 2011 and 2014. Six of the seeds sprouted. So how thrilling is that? That is just so cool. I think that that is... I want some of those dates. I want it to say the dates that Jesus ate. <laughs> wow. Well, guys, I hope that you are thoroughly chilled to the core that these 2,000-year-old seeds not only sprouted, but they got the female tree to sprout, and um, they got the pollen off of her, and she and Methuselah dated. <laughs> no pun intended. And uh, they came up with fruit. They bore fruit. And now, behold the trees, the fig tree and all the trees. You know, because these 2,000-year-old seeds sprouted and now bore fruit. Don't you think that's a huge sign that the Lord is coming? Man, I am so excited by this story. I hope you're thrilled. And it might interest you to know that the first of the ancient date seedlings, Methuselah, uh, not only was named for Methuselah in the Bible, but was even given the Guinness World Records designation as the oldest seed cultivated. It was back in the 1960s the famed Israeli archaeologist Professor Yigal Yadin discovered thousands of date seeds buried under the rubble during his excavations of Masada. Other date seeds were found in caves near the Dead Sea. They all sat in storage for over 40 years. So the, the fact that it's bearing fruit now it's a sign that the king is coming after 2,000 years. And the Lord would be gone for 2,000 years in return. We are so close. So how did these dates taste? She said, not as sweet as the Medjool date, not sticky at all, and with a pleasant honey aftertaste is how Dr. Sarah Salon describes the taste of a date sprouted from a 2,000-year-old seed. Dr. Salon, 
who researches natural medicine is one of the few lucky ones to have had the opportunity to taste one of the 111 ancient Judean dates harvested in September at Kibbutz Keturah in southern Israel. It was a harvest that grabbed a global media spotlight. After all, it took 15 years of patience, hope, anticipation, and groundbreaking architectural technologies or techniques to make the seemingly botanically impossible feat possible. It took me some time to figure out how I might do it because you only have one chance with each seed, Dr. Elaine Soloway, who runs the Center for Sustainable Agriculture at the Arava Institute for Environmental Studies at Kibbutz Keturah says in an Israeli foreign ministry video made back in 2016 before it was known whether these trees would even bear fruit. And they did. While the scientists and agricultural communities celebrated this landmark harvest, only Salon, Solway, and a handful of other scientists involved in the revival project and a few kibbutz members got to sample bits of this long lost variety of dates last tasted back in the time of Jesus and the Maccabees. Most of the hall is being kept for science purposes. We need a lot of data to do research on to work out how the properties and what nutritional value is, says Salon. And she works at the Hadassah Hospital in Jerusalem. The Israeli scientists and horticulturists are now trying to find a way to use the tissue culture and make hundreds of thousands of exact replicas of Hannah, the date palm tree germinated from a seed dating back two millennia. Salon says that the dates seem to offer hope in today's world of uncertainty. The last time I did a video about Methuselah, they did not have a female tree to pollinate to bear the fruit and now the fruit has not only come forth from Hannah but now the update is that they harvested the date palm dates from the 2,000 year old trees so the trees bore fruit and here we are waiting for the return of Messiah after 2,000 years as well the one who was resurrected from death to life and now we've got the Dead Sea coming to life. We've got these ancient date palm fruits that nobody's tasted in 2,000 years come to life. The fruit that Jesus ate. Whew, how cool. I'd be blessed in Jesus' name. This is so exciting. I am thrilled. Good night, everyone.